the moment I see somebody say it's the war between Israel and Hamas, I know that it's political deception. And you see that, unfortunately, that formulation in a lot of newspapers and front headlines in online media. Because what has happened here is that media are writing as if Gaza was something that started on October 7. Well, with that terrible attack on Israel was just one in a series of decades of conflicts and very much to be expected. I didn't say legitimate, I said expected, because I don't know any case in which occupied people sit down and say, okay, that's okay, we are occupied. Occupation leads to resistance. That's a very important concept to make people aware of. All conflicts are not the same. Some conflicts are between, if you will, David and Goliath. If you have a, a group of people who've been occupied for decades, lived in what some people have called an open air prison, if you see such a structure, the underlying conflict being so asymmetric, so unjust, then any idiot, I must say, should be able to have predicted that something would happen. Now, the media do not see conflicts. They do not understand the underlying things because you can't take pictures of conflicts. You can take pictures of warfare, dead bodies, bombed out hospitals and all that. Now, I'm not saying media should not show us the suffering of the Palestinians in Gaza. Of course we should. But, you know, there's a very sad thing happening over time, and that's called psychic numbing. We get numbed. We get more and more insensitive or we close off. I mean, these pictures are so terrible that many ordinary citizens, when they see them, begin to cry and turn off the television. It's going to my heart also. Uh, it's even hard to speak about it when you think of this unspeakable suffering of a whole people where the average age is very low. In a very sophisticated way, I think you can say, that coverage of the violence leads to a legitimization of the idea that the way to stop that violence is more violence where the real way to stop that violence is to say, what is this about? What is the underlying conflict? Where is the violence we see, the dead children? Where does that violence have its roots? If we could get that far in understanding anything, it would be good. But we cannot because the mainstream media are part of what I call the military, industrial, media, academic, complex, MIMAC. The military, industrial, media, academic, complex. Eisenhower, in his farewell speech in the early 60s, talked about the military, industrial, complex. Today, the media are on the side of warfare and they are on the winner's side. So Western media are disseminating a narrative supported by pictures, the way they interview people, etc., or avoid talking about certain things, are totally on the side of Israel and the United States because their governments are there. And the coverage, for instance, of the um, International Criminal Justice uh, ruling uh, based on South Africa's uh, analysis and initiative, which I find extremely important and uh, uh, a turning point, actually, to a certain extent in international law, has not at all been given that coverage by the Western world as it should have been, the world's mainstream media. I can't remember ever having seen such a uniformity in the wrong direction in the media as we see today. If I think back on the media during the Vietnam War, in the early 70s, for instance, there were a richness of and, and a diversity of views that were listened to in radio and television. At that time, we didn't have all these, you know, media and we didn't have the internet, but we had a, a national broadcasting 
the duty of whose was to show many aspects and let people themselves find out what they thought was important or what their own opinion would be. That is gone. We are told what to believe. And unless you have a very critical mind, you end up buying that also because, not because you are bad people, but because you do not have the time to find out what is the real truth way beyond the mainstream media. And those are things that I think it's our duty as intellectuals to re reveal. Dear friends in the world, you are being manipulated. You are being made to believe certain things which are only half-truths or uh, one-third lies or inventions or narratives or deceptions, serving political aims of those who are, you know, if you will, running the world. And that is a military, industrial, media, academic complex. We do not have free media in that sense anymore. Mm -hmm.